everybody week 51 on the real dvd watches i'm dvd weasel back again this week i'm going to be reviewing the 1997 film funny games and the 2007 remake from the same director michael haneke funny games us that was a mouthful um basically funny games oh yeah before i get into this i'd like to say um I know Scotty White did a review of this a while, these two films a while ago, and if you haven't seen his review, definitely go and check it out because it was a great review. And uh, I'm sorry if you're offended by the fact that I'm reviewing this, but I really wanted to put my thoughts out there. And yeah. And by the way, this this review could contain spoilers, but I will warn you if if I'm about to spoil something. So you can watch this if you haven't seen the film, and I'll tell you if you need to stop watching and go and watch the film then come back and finish the review um so yeah basically the the plot of the plot of funny games is a, a, a family a father a mother and a son go out to their holiday home they are basically tortured by these two um kind of uh, they're young but they're not they're not exactly teenagers that's basically the plot of the film it doesn't have a hugely uh, a huge plot and um, there are a lot of moments in the plot where the plot uh, where you think it's gonna go one direction and it twists it on its head from the way that the Hollywood does uh, most most films like this and it shows you what you think what you wished would happen and um, and presents you with a massive kick in the face because it doesn't uh, a lot of stuff that you wish would happen doesn't happen and then like it gets really complicated well not really complicated it's just the way it's done is um is i think very clever and uh yeah this these films a lot of people have criticized them for having absolutely no point i think i think they have a very valid point and um yes it's a very tired subject uh to make a comment on with violence in cinema and a lot of directors have done it, and and um, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of sick of it now. But the way um, the way Michael Haneke does it, I thought was very very fresh, and it might be because Michael Haneke is one of my favorite directors. But it, I think it's still, I think both of these films are still very good, even though the uh, remake is kind of sub part of the original. Um, so yeah, basically, I loved I loved that part of it, and. I I agree with what he's trying to say, and the way the way he presents it is a very is very clever as well because it's a very uncomfortable film to watch and in a lot of parts of it, yet um, yeah you want to keep watching to see what's going to happen. Don't go into it expecting a balls out crazy um, horror film because it isn't. It's a psychological thriller and it's one that and it's one that uh, could be taken the wrong way. And I can't. I'm not going to say that everybody who didn't like it took it the wrong way, because people are entitled to their own opinion. I can completely see where people are coming from when they say stuff like that. But I love it. Um, I think it's great. It's very chilling. It's very very unsettling. I also love the way uh, that they break the fourth wall, and I think it's. I think it's just uh, very masterfully done. And um, I normally think. A lot, a lot of the time, actually, I won't say normally because a lot of the time I've loved it. I, a lot of the time, um, I'd watch, a, I, I watch a film and they'll break the fourth wall and it'll be really, really uh, lame and it won't work at all. This one works for me, and I love how he asks the audience for approval. And I think that was a really nice touch, and it really added to the whole experience of the entire film. The original, I give nine out of ten. The remake. I did give it out of ten when I rewatched it recently, but I watched the I watched the original again uh, the other day, and um, it's just so so bad. It just puts the remake in in the sh in the shadows. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, that was my review for uh, Funny Games. Hope you enjoyed it, and come back next week.